Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to have a quick discussion and a quick announcement that recently Microsoft starting rolling out Windows 11 22 H2 to everyone, of course, to those of you who have compatible computers and for those of you who still don't know the minimum system requirements for Windows 11, well, you need to have at least four gigabytes of RAM, TPM 2.0, and also your motherboard must support secure, but these are basically the three most important system requirements. Of course, there's a processor requirement, but I think most of you would meet that. In this video, as I've said, we're going to have a quick discussion on some news regarding Windows 11 22H2, why it was paused for a while and some of you didn't receive it, and other info. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Just for a quick reference, I'm here on Windows 11 22H2, the latest build 22,000 In the past few months, Microsoft paused paused the Windows 11 22H2 rollout a few times because in Windows 11 22H2 there have been some reports of gaming performance issues and Microsoft noted that in their blog posts a few times and they provided fixes for that in a few builds that were released a while ago. Microsoft also fixed a lot of issues regarding Microsoft Store apps and a lot of bugs that were affecting the Windows 11 performance altogether. From what I know, I think that Windows 11 still has some issues with the File Explorer memory leaks and Microsoft is continuously fixing those. I think in every dev channel build and in every build they have a fix that states that they fixed yet another file explorer crash or memory leak. And I think this is really good. But the good news is that Microsoft finally considers that Windows 11 22H2 should be stable for everyone. And they recently started rolling out Windows 11 22H2 for everyone. For those of you who didn't get the update and didn't do the update yet, well, if you watch my channel, you'll know is that I've done a video on almost every new build for the main release and also for the beta and the dev channel. And you'll be able to notice there are all the new features that you can encounter. But what you need to know mostly is that Microsoft will also have a bigger update sometime next year at the beginning of next year with a few nice features that a lot of people expect. And if you ask me if Windows 11 22H2 is worth it, well, I can tell you that it is. I'm using it since the beginning on my main computer, the main computer that I use to edit, create a lot of my videos and I can tell you that it is pretty stable. I didn't have any issues that affected the workflow that I have daily. And I think that you should do the upgrade as well. Of course, if you have a compatible computer, if you don't have a compatible computer, I've made previous videos in which I showed you how to install Windows 11 22H2 on a non-compatible computer. But of course, that is not officially recommended because you could have certain compatibility issues and certain unknown issues because Microsoft is not providing support for those of you who install Windows Windows 11 22H2 on an unsupported or on non compatible computer. Of course, you do that at your own risk. I've done that myself on some computers, and I can tell you that I didn't encounter any issues, any issues that affected the performance or anything like that. Yet again, this is a risk because you don't have an official support for your computer this way. Also, after this video, I really want to know your opinion on Windows 11 22H2 in the comments below. I want to know what's your opinion, what's your experience with Windows 11 22H2, and we can discuss more in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and also if you enjoy videos that I do on this channel, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.